Well, we're back, aren't we, Dave? Yep. We're back with another collaboration, and we are getting ready for some football. Football. And who, who do we go? How? Who do we like? Huh? Can you tell? Can you tell who we like? Of course, the Broncos, Denver Broncos, of course. Yep. We got Bronco Claws right here. He got all of his Christmas presents delivered on time this year, didn't he? As far as we know. Yeah, as far as we know. And we are collaborating in tailgate, hashtag tailgate time. And it's sponsored by Mud and Mascara and Kettle Kitchen. <laughs> you know Tony at Kettle Kitchen. Yeah. We've done collaborations before with him. Mud and Mascara is venturing out and this is her collaboration and we want to say this is going to be fun. Enjoy the video. It's time for some football. Are you ready Dave? Yep. Oh and if you don't know, I'm Ann from the official Ann Lynn Show and this is my husband Dave of Dave's Gaming Cave. Yeah. So check out Dave's Gaming Cave. All right honey. We today are going to be making, or I am, we're going to make uh, some bacon wrapped sausages. And I'm going to get them ready today. You're going to see the preparation of them. And I'm going to put them aside. And then tomorrow, I'm going to bake them in the oven. And I'll tell more about that later. But if you're able to make things ahead of time, it makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Yep. So when football time comes around, all you got to do is either pull it out of the refrigerator or throw it into the oven. And along with these little sausages, what we're gonna have with our tailgate party is, I did, I did a little cheats. You think it's okay to cheat once in a while? Once in a while? Now, I bought a tray of fruit mm -hmm. and cheese and a big box of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so those are gonna go with us. So you can, uh, you can do stuff like that for your tailgate. You can either just do your cooking ahead of time or do it the day of. I like simple, and today's recipe is very, very simple. But I hope you enjoy it, and you will also watch the other videos participating in hashtag tailgate time. So we'll clink out. And I'll get going on this recipe. Well, shortcuts, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna get. I've got my things gathered, and so today what I'm using are smoky maple breakfast sausages, and these are Eckridge. You see the size. I like the bigger sausages like that. Just need some toothpicks and some good. Bacon, got some good bacon. And it couldn't be any simpler than this. All you're gonna do, this is what I'm gonna put them in for today, because I'm gonna bake them tomorrow. Let's get them opened up here. Oops, don't wanna drop them. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Good grief. Oh, there went my bowl. Good grief. All right. <laughs> While I'm doing this, I want to thank Tiffany of Mud and Mascara and Tony at Cattle Kitchen for inviting us to be a part of this collaboration. Okay, I'm gonna try this. This might be too much, a half of a piece. No, actually, I like that. All right, and they may or may not need to have a toothpick used. So you wanna be careful, and when you get done baking these, and I'm gonna bake mine tomorrow, try to remember to take that toothpick out so none of your guests will have a problem with that. So what I'm gonna do for now, because I wanna do this ahead of time, I'm gonna wrap each one of these with a half a piece of bacon. 
I'm just gonna put them in the refrigerator after a while. Tomorrow, I'll be back, and I'm gonna throw these in the oven at about 350, and I'm gonna sprinkle brown sugar over them before I put them in the oven. I'm gonna put them just on a flat pan, just a regular sheet cake, and a flat pan. I'm gonna cook them till the bacon is done, nice and crispy, and, oops, that toothpick didn't work out too well. And that brown sugar, oh my gosh, is gonna make them sweet, and they're gonna have that maple sweetness from the sausage, and those are gonna be really tasty little bites. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna keep working on wrapping my sausage. I'll show you what they look like once I get it all done. Remember to leave a comment on my video because that will put you in the running for a little giveaway that's gonna be held on February the 4th. And that is gonna be at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And all you have to do is leave a comment on this video and your name will be put in for that drawing. I'm glad I wore gloves because these are kind of greasy. <laughs> And also want to tell you that there will be a playlist. This is going to go on. Hashtag tailgate time is for the entire month of January. And every day there's going to be one or two videos from the collaboration that are going to drop on that date. On every single day this month. So be sure to write this down hashtag tailgate time the complete listing will be over at tiffany's mud and mascara and should be there in the down it look at my description box and that will tell you too what i did my little recipe which is seriously not much but i think these are like so good you just can't believe it. And if I take these with a nice fruit tray and some nice chocolate chip cookies, oh boy, my, my family's gonna be happy, I think. And go Broncos. Go Broncos. You see, I'm wearing my number. What is that number, Dave? 18. 18! And that stood for Hey, mm. well, I'm asking you. Peyton, Peyton Manning, Man Manning, and he won. What was this? Super Bowl 50. Yeah. Super Bowl 50, baby. Broncos. <clears throat> but now, what's man? What's what's he doing? What's Marshalls and I know. TV shows. Yeah. Peyton's on a on a show now. What's that called? Peyton's places. Yeah. Peyton's places and actually it's very entertaining because <laughs> he interviews people and they go places and do things. What channel is that on? ESPN Plus. Okay, there you go. Gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> and no, we are not being sponsored by the Broncos, but I'd like to be. Wouldn't that be something? Woohoo! That would be awesome. All right, well, I'm going to leave you for now. I'll be back show you just what I've got, how they look, tell you what I plan to do with them again tomorrow. Well, welcome back. It's the next day and we're getting ready to go to a party soon. But I have to cook these bacon wrapped sausages first. So remember I had them all done and I put them in the refrigerator. So I have this pan, it's the copper and we're gonna put all of the little bacon wrapped sausages on it. So I've got them almost all loaded up in here on my pan. Remember that you have these toothpicks in them and you wanna to try to pull them out if possible before you take them to your tailgate. 
or whatever party you're going to today or tomorrow or soon. Okay. Okay, they all fit and I got a single layer, which is really, really good. So here we go. I'm gonna put them in the oven at 350. And the oven is ready, it's preheated, and I'm just really gonna have to keep an eye on them till the bacon is completely done. We've got them all loaded up, got a single layer, it worked out. Now, before I do stick them into the oven, I'm using the Splenda Brown Sugar Blend. It's got half the calories, so that's good. And I'm gonna sprinkle this all over them. You know, I'm probably gonna do it a couple times because I don't, it's gonna all get down in the bottom of the pan. I'll put a little bit on now and I'll check them in a little bit and, and I will put more on them because I don't want to lose all that goodness in the bottom of the pan. But anyhow, you get the idea. All right, so we are gonna stick them in the oven right in the middle, the middle rack. The oven is at 350 and I'm going to tell my timer to start. Alexa, start a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. There we go. We'll see what happens in a half hour. They may be done. You may have to let them go just a little bit longer. We'll find out here in 30 minutes. Okay, the half hour is up and I don't think that they're done yet. Want to take a look? They are bubbling. And they are getting there, but I am gonna let these go for another, say 10 minutes, and check them again in 10 minutes because I wanna be sure that bacon gets really done. So I ended up turning the stove up to 425 and I gave it like an additional 10 minutes or so to be sure. So what you'll have to do is just monitor your, your um, sausages and either bump the temperature up or leave them longer or you may have a different pan than I do but just monitor them until the bacon looks pretty done. And the brown and sugar. You get your little toothpick out and let's cut them in half. Ooh, they're hot. They are hot. <laughs> Duh, right? Mm. Oh, wow. That brown sugar. Some of the bacon is a little less done. That's all right. Just take it off if you don't want to eat it. Oh, wow. Mm. And you want to eat with a fork. <laughs> that may help. Oh, that bacon and brown sugar. Man, you could wrap anything in that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, I hope you enjoyed my little video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment so that you can get entered into the giveaway on February the 4th at Mud and Mascara's uh, YouTube channel. And I'll have my little recipe below. Hey, make it easy on yourself everything ready to go. Just That way you can just toss it out. I'm going to take these fruit tray that's already prepared and a box of cookies. Hey, tailgate time, here we come. Go Broncos! <laughs>